Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a giant ice cream cookie sandwich. How perfect for summer does that sound? So we're going to be putting it together using my homemade vanilla ice cream recipe, which I'll put a link in the description box for you below. And we are ready to get started on making this delightful treat. To make the chocolate cake portion of our ice cream sandwich, we're going to be using one cup of water, nine tablespoons of vegetable oil, one tablespoon of white vinegar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of brown sugar, one cup of regular white granulated sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking salt, and half a cup of cocoa powder. For decorating, we're going to be using sprinkles. You can use any kind. And we're also going to be using a cookie silicone shaped baking pan. You can use a regular eight inch pan if you don't have one of these available. And we're also going to be using vanilla ice cream. If you'd like to have homemade ice cream, make sure you check out our homemade vanilla ice cream recipe that I'll put in the link in the description box for you. The part that we're going to work on first is the ice cream center of the ice cream sandwich. So what I have here is an eight inch spring form pan. The spring form pans, the bottom pops out, which you may have seen in my previous cheesecake recipes. In this pan, I have the bottom lined with parchment paper, and it's also lined with parchment paper along the sides, just to make the removal of the ice cream a little bit easier. So just put your ice cream into the pan here and then you're just going to smooth it out as best as you can to make it look like a disc that you would find in the center of your ice cream sandwich. So I'm going to do smooth this out and then it's going to have to sit in the freezer for about four to six hours so that it freezes solid. So I'm gonna pop it in there and be back later. To make the chocolate cake, we're going to put all of the dry ingredients into the bowl here. You can do this with a hand mixer if you don't have a stand mixer. It works just the same way. This is pretty easy of a cake to do. There's only one bowl if you're not running a YouTube tutorial. You can mix it all in one bowl. So all of the dry ingredients are in and I'm just going to combine them now. So I'm going to add my oil, vanilla, vinegar and water while my mixer is on low speed in order to mix everything in properly. Once the batter is all mixed together, you're just going to dry, try to divide it as equally as you can into between your two pans. So like I said again, if you don't have a cookie mold like this, you can just use a regular 8 inch shaped cookie pan, or sorry, a regular 8 inch cake pan shaped like this giant cookie. So you're going to smooth your cake batter out as best as you can, and then you're going to put it into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's going to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. When you've got it baked, this doesn't want to come out for me. There we go. When you've got it all baked, you're going to pull it out and let it cool completely. So my cakes are baked and cooled and my ice cream slab is nice and frozen. So I'm just going to place that on top there. And then using my sprinkles, I'm just going to press them up onto the side of the cake like that. And I'll go all the way around and I'll be back when I've got them all stuck on the side of the ice cream piece. So now that I have the sprinkles all the way around the outside, I'm going to take my top piece and just place it on top. So what I'm going to do is put this back into the freezer so it's freeze nice and solid and I'm going to clean up the sprinkles as well. When I'm done that, I'll be back to show you the finished product. So there you go everybody, how to make a giant ice cream sandwich cookie cake. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Remember that we're on lots of social media sites and I'd love if you came and checked us out over on those too. Those are all listed in the description box below for you. Remember to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all of our newest videos and I will see you guys all again next time.